a doctor decapitates baby and posts it on social media. In Georgia, there was a young black woman who was giving birth when a her doctor who was delivering the baby um, made a mistake uh, where that is never really made. I mean, it's basic 101 knowledge about how you are supposed to handle the shoulders, the neck, the spine, and how you would put force or not put force, coerce. And if you cannot, it's an automatic emergency C-section. Well, this doctor against all training, apparently, um, actually broke the baby's neck uh, at the C1, C2 up at the top then lied about it. Now, mom didn't know in a state like that, for anyone who's ever had a child, you don't, you almost don't know what the heck is going on. Okay. You're just trying to save your own life. And, uh, they told her they were going to bring her in for, um, an emergency C-section. So after all that, because they now have to fake it, they brought her in for an emergency C-section and they, they said that the baby was already dead. So they basically blame the mother that she was carrying a deceased infant, okay, or something must have happened. Uh, they, in trying to pull the baby back up and through, decapitated the baby entirely. And uh, then they tried to hide it. The nurses were in on it. Everybody in the room was in on it. They put the head back on, they wrapped the baby up and they covered up the neck. They showed the baby to the mom and to the dad. And when they asked to hold the baby, they said, no, 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 you can't do that. And when they said, well, I want to see the baby. They said, no, 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 you can't do that. They swiped the baby away. Apparently at some point, photographs of the corpse were posted on social media by the, by the doctor. I don't know if the nurses were in on that too. And later we found out that the decapitation was done through the autopsy uh, by the doctor when she was trying to vaginally deliver. So the doctor is charged with homicide. Now, what do I think about this horrific story. I think it happens all the time. I know people it has happened to. It happened to me when I was uh, 18. And when I reported the doctor to the Department of Health, they found a list of other Puerto Rican women in the area that it had happened to. And a lot of those babies did not live. Uh, I had a family member, Puerto Rican, who had the baby's pet had been um, punctured and the baby died uh, when they said they were trying to break her water. What doctor doesn't know how to break a water? Okay. So this, the guy who did it to me got shut down, but a lot of the other Puerto Rican women didn't speak English as well as I did. I mixed. So, you know, I had some ease on my hands of, I had some extra fight in me to go forward. Not a lot, but a little more than they had. And I knew the system better than what a lot of these other women did. Now you hear horror stories. I believe there's a 35 increase like percent rate of deaths for black women from, from pregnancy and childbirth. This should not be happening. I mean, none of this should be happening, but I find it very hard to believe that these things are accidental, especially when you see, like I saw in my own situation, Puerto Rican after Puerto Rican after Puerto Rican after Puerto Rican and no one else seemingly been tortured by this doctor. Okay. So we have another situation here. What is the spiritual message? Well, like I always say, the revolution began in 2019. It is now peaked in January, tw January 20th, you know, and the ultimate peak of the revolution is going to be led by women and the indigenous, but just before that. So the last, I want to say three to four years, it was really being led and will continue 
there will be many stories there by the black and LGBTQ community. So I think that this fits in perfectly. This, not only the exposure of what happened here, but the charge, the charge is unheard of. These doctors get away with murder. Not this one, not this time. And while they're still trying to downplay it in the news, uh, the charge of murder is uh, homicide, um, um, you know, is definitely what, what it is. So it's going to bring a lot of awareness. It's going to make headlines. I think that once mom and dad are able to collect themselves and speak up more, we're going to be hearing a lot from them. And I hope this goes deep, deep into criminal charges well beyond civil because that's what the rest of us need to be doing is moving beyond civil into criminal uh, charges. All right, so that was incredibly disturbing, outrageous. They just think they're gonna get away with it. The fact that the nurses get in on it and all the other staff, there were aides who were in on it. Everyone who was there covered it up. You know, they, they were trying to prevent the autopsy. You should see the paperwork on this one. Unbelievable. Let's